Princeton University students in Jason Puhala's Physics 108 class utilized a remote control bird and mini quadcopter to understand some of the principles of flight in living organisms. Students predicted what challenges flying devices would present and took turns flying the devices to see if their predictions were correct. They then developed a physical model to illustrate how flight is possible in each case and how it relates to various flying animals and insects. I'm trying to demonstrate um, the forces that a bird feels when it's flying by looking at these drone models. These different birds have different uh, models of flight, so we have to be looking at uh, different types of drones. So, yeah, we're applying physics to uh, see how the forces interact to have uh, the bird model of flight. Buhala explained how testing flight principles on actual models demonstrates the limitations of Bernoulli's principle when applied to animal flight. So one of the principles we talk about in class is when you have something that's life-size, larger life-size, like a bird, uh, airflow around that object is, is very complicated. What you could say is it's a high Reynolds number situation. In those situations, it's uh, the type of flow that you have is not well modeled by simple equations like the Bernoulli's equation. So in the end, you have to look at the, the more complex dynamics of how the wings are moving. Like hummingbirds and like dragonflies, their wings do strange things. They're not like fixed wing aircraft at all. So understanding that through flying a drone is a, uh, a unique opportunity. Because what you'll end up seeing is not just how uh, it's very different than a standard fixed wing aircraft or how it's different than, say, a, an object moving at a low Reynolds number, like a bacteria swimming, but you'll also see, just based on the controls, what you need to do to make the thing fly. 